So I've been using ChatGPT to do a lot of local SEO. Um, in the beginning, when I started, there were a few things uh, that I, I couldn't figure out how to do using ChatGPT. Now I've been able to streamline the process to a great extent. Um, just using ChatGPT, I'm able to cut down the time it takes to do local SEO by 50%. So a lot of the tasks uh, that would take me like three hours to do now takes me around an hour and a half to around two hours because uh, ChatGPT speeds up the entire process. Now, lately, ChatGPT has slowed down. Um, the response has slowed down, and that's mainly because now there's going to be a paid version of ChatGPT out anytime soon. But it's it's the paid version for people who have signed up for it, so it's not for everyone. But moving forward, I see that there is going to be a paid version that is a lot faster than the one that we currently have. And then the one that we currently have is going to slow down um, significantly uh, just so that people uh, can only use this for a few minor tasks and then if they want to they're serious about it they want to use it seriously then they can pay for it how much it will cost i have no idea um, but it will cost quite a bit uh, from what i've been told so uh, also before i get into the video like and subscribe i do a seo for a living there's a link in the description click the link fill out the form and i'll get in touch with you know a lot of my emails are hitting people's spam box for some reason so if you have not heard from me uh, in two to three days business days uh, check your spam box because it's most probably my email has landed in there and you have not seen it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, one of the things that I usually start with and everyone starts with when they're doing local SEO is uh, a business description. Now, ChatGPT makes it really easy to um, to come up with a business description. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. Um, so you can use the link in the description and you know, just follow the steps here. So what I like to do is I like to put in um, my business name, so business placeholder. So uh, so one of the first things when you're doing, when you want to do a, write a business description is you want to make sure that it's, uh, that ChatGPT knows more about what your business is so that it comes up with a better description and you'll need far less edits. So what I start with is I start with a business name. So I'll put in ABC company and the business is located in, let's say it's in Midtown Manhattan. So Midtown Manhattan. And then it's, uh, then you put in a number of years. So let's say 10 years. 10 year old and the industry is let's say um, it's in the cleaning industry and the main service is let's say it's window cleaning window cleaning and then um, a little bit about the your business so that chat GPT can get started so what I like to do is our vision is um, to provide clients with an excellent experience and then uh, also you know make it like a short list of your uh, also of your unique selling points so what I like to do here is I like to put in like for instance number one rated cleaning service and over a decade of experience and we'll go ahead and feed this into um, ChatGPT now you can see what my prompts were and you can just copy and just paste this when you're using it. So right off the bat, it starts with ABC Company is a 10-year-old cleaning business in Midtown Manhattan. The company specializes in window cleaning and aims to provide clients with an excellent experience. Its unique selling proposition is as its number one rated cleaning service with a decade of experience. Now, I want a longer description. So what I'll do here is please extend the description by 1000 characters. So now it gives me another version, which is a longer version. And usually this is, this is a, uh, this is the second prompt that I need to do. I haven't found a way to do it with the first prompt. When I put this in the first prompt, it, you know, it sort of ignores it. Um, so putting in the, just adding the second prompt 
uh, makes it a lot easier um, in my experience and it you know just expands the description so right off the bat our vision is to provide clients with an excellent experience we are one of the one of the things that sets us apart uh, is our unique selling proposition we are the number one so as you can see this is a typical mach machine generated issue here uh, with the first one but we can just remove this line and then you can just put in we are the number one uh, rated cleaning service in the area and our service of residential cleaning windows cleaning and I didn't even mention that they do uh, commercial cleaning but usually businesses that do residential cleaning also do commercial cleaning um, and they also do industrial cleaning so you know this chat GPT just you know just came up with this so I could just copy and paste this and with a few minor edits the business description um, is pretty much uh, done all right so the next thing I want to do is I want to create geo modifiers so one of the ways to do this is I would go to Wikipedia I'm trying to find a geo modifier for let's say Midtown Manhattan so let's do a search for Midtown Manhattan this is also useful for if you're creating location pages um, and I'll show you what I mean if, if you've not done a lot of uh, local SEO this might be this might be something that you're not familiar with but you know as I, as I move through this step by step um, you I mean it'll, it will become evident as to what I'm trying to do and why this is important so what I like to do here is I like to copy and paste this line so what I so what I'll start with I will start with a prompt so filter out all the geographical words from this text add this in quotation marks um, copy basically just the first paragraph uh, the first this introduction over here um, copy here make sure it's in quotation marks um, and go ahead and hit, and hit enter and all right so right off the bat you can see it pulls up these prominent buildings so Empire State Building, Chaisla Building, the Hudson Yards now this is relevant to this is not as good as it it would have been if I just put in New York City but this is because this is very very re relevant to uh, Midtown Manhattan so I can basically create a page that includes all of these areas areas uh, within uh, Midtown Manhattan but let me let me just try let me just try this with um, you know just using uh, you know New York City and just to show you what this will look like if you give it you know a broader uh, broader text perhaps so if I go to New York City um, all right so we'll just pull this up and we'll just copy so this is a lot more data uh, for chat GPT to, to work through so we'll just give chat GPT this data and see what kind of geo modifiers uh, it, it comes up with so paste and so we have to dig a little bit through the text over here um, because it's spitting out quite a bit obviously because we gave it a lot to work on um, let me do this again and just change this from text to a list um, stop generating click filter out geographical words in this text and make a bullet point list so All right, so this doesn't work very well. All right, so next thing I want to do is I want to create a local business schema for my local business. So I'll start with uh, create a local business schema and leave placeholders for missing information. Okay, so right off the bat it starts creating the local business schema and the interesting thing here is it will also tell me or briefly describe how to use a schema correctly so I don't even need to be someone who has never used this before 
um, because ChatGPT makes sure to tell me, uh, you know, what to add to it and how to add this to my GMB or Google Business Profile or as it is called right now, Google Profile. And uh, there you go. So right, it tells me, please note that the above schema is a basic example. You might want to add more properties to it. So this is just pretty much serves, serves the purpose for what I'm trying to do here. Um, and as you can see, I just add, I can add my street address here. I can add my address locality, my address region, my postal code, my address country, the name of my country, the name of my business, uh, type is local business already done for me. Um, this is all the days of the week that the business is open. And this is a description of the business. And you can use part of the description that we generated earlier. And this uh, this is done. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to create title tags. So and a title tag for my business is ABC Cleaning Company in New York City, New York. All right, then please create. 100 or let's do like 50 title tags for neighboring towns for this business right so my cleaning business located in new york and the title tag for my business is abc cleaning company in new york city new york because you want to give chat gpt an example of what you want and then please create 50 title tags for neighboring towns for this business. So what ChatGPT will do, it'll pull up a list of neighboring towns and, and create what I, seem, what I entered here and just make a list. So, so it will be uh, cleaning companies in Corning, New York, cleaning companies in upstate New York, and it'll be a whole list of these. And this is then I can you know use this to then move on to the next step of my local SEO uh, process. So we'll just wait for the app over here. And you notice I used please because you always need to be uh, polite with ChatGPT. Don't be rude, always ask politely. So as you can see, it's just generating this list. So it starts with all the boroughs. So ABC Cleaning Company in Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Staten Island, New Rochelle, White Plains, Yonkers, Long Island, um, Jersey City, and it will create 50. You can ask for 100, you can ask for, well, I've done up to 100, but I would assume that you can do 120 and 30, 200 even, um, if there are as many um, towns and cities nearby. Um, All right, so once this is done, I want to ask ChatGPT to arrange these in order of the ones that are nearest to Midtown, Midtown Manhattan. Um, so I'll type that in and it'll just rearrange this list um, so that I can just move on to the next phase of my, uh, S of my local SEO. And this is also great for someone who you know, doesn't is not familiar with New York, but they're doing local SEO for New York, and it applies to any other uh, country as well. If you're doing for the UK, Australia, or the UAE, you know, this applies. You know, all of these prompts apply uh, because you will need this kind of information to do effective local SEO. And in the process, I'm also teaching you how my local SEO process works, so um, you get to kind of see the behind the scenes of my local SEO. I, obviously this is not the entire process, but you know, this is a part of the process that I have been able to automate, um, you know, and it has sped it up by, you know, I would say 100% compared to if I were to do this manually, which I was doing in the past, so, or outsourcing it. So this will, this makes my life a lot easier than if I were to, you know, just have to do this myself. So, the next thing is I want to create um, a description for each one of these uh, title tags. I'm sorry, for each one of these title tags, I want to have a description 
Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask ChatGPT to do this for me. The company, I'll, I'll start with giving it a USB. So the company offers 24 seven cleaning services, which is a USB. Please create a 160 characters meta description for all the above title tags. That's just uh, something to keep in mind that you, that you should go through the list and you, and you need to be a little bit familiar with the place. Um, maybe do a Google search and see you know, if, if the list is correct. Um, and so once the list is okay, the next one is to, um, is to generate a meta description. Um, the way I do this is I, I type in the business office 24 hours cleaning service, but you can also do uh, something else like uh, cheap cleaning services or low priced cleaning services. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to let's say low priced price cleaning services. The meta description should end with a call to action. And then obviously meta description 160 characters. So I'll, I'll say create 160 characters meta description for all the titles. Uh, so all the title tags, so all the title tags that we generated earlier uh, for, for each one of those. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And ChatGPT is really good at creating these and it, each one is unique, which, which, which has to be the case. Now, a lot of you are gonna ask me if these are uh, you know, something that Google can detect and penalize. Um, obviously, I mean, this is machine generated. So this is AI generated. Uh, and so far, I have not had a problem using these descriptions. But if Google does have a problem with these descriptions, um, you can just rewrite these into something else. But as you can see, the descriptions are all unique. Um, I've just run into a few instances where uh, two or three descriptions were very, very similar. And I just went in and I rewrote those. But, you know, this is like, this is cutting down my my time to do local SEO by at least 50%. So I don't need to write all of this. And each one of these is different. So big flats and New York City residents can now enjoy professional cleaning services. And the next one is ABC Cleaning Company. Uh, provides premier cleaning services, so it's, it's got the city, uh, it's got a city name, it's got mm, the, you know New York in it, it's got the city name, it's it's, it's got the um, the state in it, and it, it's it's all here. Um, so it goes ahead and generates this for every uh, one of these, and this is again if you took a look at outstanding cleaning services at a budget friendly prices from ABC Cleaning Company in Niagara Falls, New York. Contact us today for a free estimates. Again, really different. Each one of these are is unique. Um, so you can go ahead and copy and paste this. And so as you can see, using ChatGPT for a local SEO is a lot easier. There's a second part coming out right after this one. I think it will be a few days later. Um, but the reason why I broke this down into two parts is so that uh, people are not fatigued by watching a long video. And also only those people who are interested in using a ChatGPT for local SEO and they like the first part We'll go ahead and watch the second part. And so if you like the video, if you like the previous video, and if you're gonna like the future video, if you're gonna watch it, uh, you know, drop a like, also drop a comment, uh, and like and subscribe if you're not already uh, if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.